Hi, I'm the Lisca and welcome to my videographic journal. April is Autism Awareness Month and throughout this month I will be touching upon many different topics relating to autism, spread awareness and acceptance. I myself was diagnosed with autism at the age of 12 and so a lot of what I will be discussing throughout this month will be from my perspective as an autistic person as well as a lot of facts and research mixed in. Today's topic is why you should absolutely not support Autism Speaks this month or ever. In 2005, a non-profit organisation called Autism Speaks was founded by two grandparents of an autistic boy. It was initially created with the aim of supporting families and parents of those with kids on the autistic spectrum. This organisation is the largest autism research organisation in the US and has for many years been collecting charitable donations to fund research for an autism cure and to aid in prenatal testing to prevent more people being born with autism. In other words, taking part in eugenics. The representatives themselves don't much care for the autistic population. One mother of an autistic individual who happens to be on the autism spectrum council publicly stated that she once strongly considered putting her autistic child in a car and driving both of them off of a cliff. But she said that she didn't do this because she had a normal kid at home waiting for her. There are parents who are forced to put kids in schools that are completely overcrowded and 12 kids and one teacher, and the, the kids oh, don't make progress. But I remember a, that was a very scary moment for me when I realized I had sat in the car for about 15 minutes and actually contemplated putting Jody in the car and driving off the George Washington Bridge, and that that would be preferable to having to put her in one of these schools. And it's only because of Lauren, the fact that I have another child, that I probably didn't do it. The donations that are given to them are spread as follows. 1% goes to supporting family services, 20% goes into fundraising, 27 goes into research, and 48% goes to so-called awareness and lobbying. And the other 4% goes into miscellaneous purposes. Their fundraising and marketing revolves around creating fear and shame around autism. In 2009, Autism Speaks created an advert called I Am Autism, which is often referred and described as being very similar to an AIDS or a cancer campaign. And thus, the advert was created in such a way to make autism seem like a disease that needed curing, and as a pariah and parasite that will tear families apart. I am autism. I am visible in your children, but if I can help it, I am invisible to you until it's too late. I know where you live, and guess what? I live there too. I hover around all of you. I know no color barrier, no religion, no morality, no currency. I speak your language fluently, and with every voice I take away, I acquire yet another language. I work very quickly. I work faster than pediatric AIDS, cancer, and diabetes combined. And if you are happily married, I will make sure that your marriage fails. Your money will fall into my hands, and I will bankrupt you for my own self-gain. I don't sleep, so I make sure you don't either. I will make it virtually impossible for your family to easily attend a temple, a birthday party, a public park, without a struggle, without embarrassment, without pain. You have no cure for me. Your scientists don't have the resources, and I relish their desperation. Furthermore, their fundraising events are the exact opposite of inclusive when it comes to allowing accommodation for actual autistic people. And throughout their entire time as an organisation, they have only ever had one actually autistic person on their team, and he dropped out shortly after due to harassment and mistreatment. And finally, Autism Speaks is a huge advocate for ABA therapy, which stands for Applied Behavioural Analysis, which involves harassment and mistreatment of autistics and use starvation, restraint, isolation, and electric shock therapy in order to rehabilitate autistic people's behavior. But more on ABA in tomorrow's video. Please do not support Autism Speaks this month. Instead, support charities that actually care about the autistic people. Organizations such as Autistic Self Advocacy Network, Autistic Women and Non-Binary Network, Self Advocates Becoming Empowered, and many, many more that actually care about the autistic 
community. As I just mentioned, tomorrow's video will be about AB therapy and how horrid it genuinely is. If you're interested in learning more about that, please feel free to hop over to my channel tomorrow. I'm the list girl and just before I log off, I have just one question for you. What is your next adventure?